Oh my goodness. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's already been out on, sorry. It's already been out a few different media sources, but the all new Bronco Raptor 37 inch tires, beadlock ready wheels. Oh my God, let's look at, oh! Look at all of that goodness. Fox, live suspension. Look at these control arms, a lot beefier than the regular Broncos. Big, heavy duty, aluminum skid plates all the way front to back. Looks like the transfer case skid plate is steel. Let's see, we got some rock rails here. Skid plates underneath. Big, heavy duty steel skid plates under the transmission, transfer case fuel tank, everything is heavy duty protected. Let's say we got some trailing arms over here. Those are big, massive, beefy arms. Again, live Fox suspension in the back. Uh, let's see, we got, looks like some sensors right here. It's hard to see on this, is my first look. I'm just excited, guys. I mean, how can you not be excited to look at this thing? Come around the back, the Raptor exclusive tail lights. Looks like it's got a before performance spare tire reinforcement. Uh, it's a lot more tire on the back to keep that tire from rattling on the back of that aluminum tailgate. Got the towing hitch. Ooh, look at that differential. It's got the R on it, baby. Woo! What else we got under here? Let's see. Uh, bigger bump stops. Look at those rear coil arms. Massive things there. Oh, yes, yeah, dual exhaust. It looks like, look at that exhaust. It's crazy. That exhaust, man, that is wild. Comes in duels, handle the muffler, does some crazy little loop de loops, and then goes duels out the back. Everyone's asking about the flares. It doesn't Not, look like they're removed. They are massive, to say the least. And the inside, so far in the back, it's like a regular. <laughs> Third brake light, it says Raptor on it as well. It's a lot bigger, got the three little marker lights, kind of like, you know, signature Raptor style on the front. Let's see here, what else we got? I wanted to see the tire size. 37, 12, 50, 17, so it is a true 37. BFGs do run a little narrower, but. I am windy, because I'm so excited. Oh, okay. And so you can set all that stuff up. And the interior, let's see. <laughs> Got marker lamps on the side mirrors. Again, I'm just looking at stuff that's different from the regular Broncos. Up here, got the signature front hood. It looks like it is a functional vent. Maybe to extract some of the heat out of the engine compartment. I wonder if these are functional. I can't tell these. They look cool. <laughs> yeah. They might actually be functional, guys. I'm not real sure. I already got that. Do you know if these are functional? It looks like it looks from like the other it, right? side, yeah. So I think these are functional. They actually help extract heat out of the engine compartment, which is cool. You know, this thing's got the uh, the three liter, 400 horsepower EcoBoost engine. I have it in my SD Explorer. That motor freaking rips. So to have it in a Bronco is sick. Up front, got the uh, dual rigid lights. That is cool. I think this should be an option for the regular Broncos too. All the sensors are in it like normal. Got the amber versus the whites. So a little color difference on the front lighting. Front forward grill. Of course, can't have the uh, Raptor without the signature Raptor lighting. Front cameras in the front like normal. I asked about, can I pop the hood or no? Yes. Oh, we can pop the hood, guys. We're popping the hood. We're popping the freaking hood. There we go. Oh, it's got hood struts. Hood struts. Beautiful. Look at that. 400 horsepower for all American muscle right there. For performance, under hood, heat shield, and the hood is functional, so it does actually extract heat out of there. And then, yeah. Airbox up front. Let's see, we got the battery. No engine cover like the other Broncos. You know, 
I live here and take care. The hood, it is functional. This is rad. God, I can't wait to drive this thing. I want to drive this so bad. I wonder if we're going to drive it. Probably not. I can't tell. It looks like those actually might be functional on the side, too. Three liter, 400 horsepower with a 10 speed. So, again, that is super cool. Strut kit. You know, again, the regular Broncos. This is a cool new feature. We got the rock rails and the step. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Let's go look at the interior. We all want to see the interior? I want to see the interior. Oh, yeah. So, we got red bungees here. Ford Performance on the door seal. We got the uh, you know the tying in the orange, classic Raptor signature uh, signature steering wheel marker there. We've got the Raptor on the interior. Same thing. They're tying in the orange trim on the uh, leather here. Carbon fiber shifter. The Goat Mode knob. You know it says Goat Mode there. Got the big screen, like of course you know, the 12 inch screens. And then look at the uh, the cluster. Let's see. If I can get. Don't right. Shit, I yeah. wish. Let's go. We'll bring it back. Skinny pedal on the right. Ah, focus. That sounds terrible. There we go. So, you know, a lot of people complain about the uh, gauge cluster on the regular Broncos. This does have an entirely different gauge cluster on this one. It's similar to the F-150s, it looks like. Yeah, it is. That is pretty wild. Average miles per gallon, 1.5. Who's been beating on it? Somebody's been beating on it. It's got 19 miles on it. Actually, no, they haven't been driving very much. Wow. Roof gate open. Brand new. 19.6 miles. Ooh, what's this R button? So this cluster, I would not do anything about it because it has like maybe 20% of the functionality. Okay, I was wondering if nothing the was production doing nothing. Yeah. Got you. It's got really... What's that R button? The R button is your custom mode. So we have this on our other Ford Performance products and on Mustang GT. Um, and basically it allows you to create your own custom settings. So, you know, what exhaust setting do you want? How sporty do you want the damper set up? What goat mode do you want the vehicle in? And all that can get dialed into the R mode. So you just hit that button and it'll pre-populate all your, that is your favorite settings. Ooh, look at the matte black must, I mean, uh, broker there in the steering wheel. Carbon fiber. Heated seats that work really, really good, like all the rest of the Fords. <laughs> Look at that. Signature. Looks like the front thing there. Charging mat. All the goat mode buttons like usual. Charging port up top like the regular ones. Got the auxiliary switches. All that stuff is pretty standard probably across the board like the regular Broncos. Orange seat belt. That's cool. Got these kind of perforated looking seats. Glove box here. Nothing special in there. What else? That's it for inside. So, part of the rear flare is on the back door. Same thing back here. These flares are massive, just so you can see the perspective. Look at that. They are huge. But this thing is obviously a hell of a lot wider than a Reagan Bronco. That is crazy. Hey, but I'm going to pull the OBX next to it to get a size perspective. All right. I'm going to pull the little bitty outer banks next to it to get a size perspective so you can see the size difference.
All right, so just to give you guys a little bit of a difference and how much of a size difference they are. We got the little baby brother and we got daddy, big papa over there. Look at that difference. So, you know, when people want to know exactly how much bigger it is, it is substantially bigger. Granted, that's an OBX, kind of as small and base as they come. Well, not base, but you get the idea. And of course, you know, 37s, wider, long travel suspension. Uh, I mean, that's a big difference in size. Even the overall roof profile is a lot you know, higher than this one is. So, you know, that is pretty rad to see the difference there. Back to the size difference from the rear. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm winded. It's really exciting. But again, see the size difference there from the back. Yeah, so that's the all new Bronco Raptor. Super dope. <laughs> Cannot wait to get a point to drive this at some point. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Yes. Sorry, man, I totally missed the shot. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's just making this story. I like the tail lights. This is super cool. I'm trying to see what else. What else did I miss? What else did I miss? You know, they basically looks like they bolted. You know, the classic kind of Raptor flat sidestep to the existing rock rail. You know, the F-150 Raptors have something very similar to that. Uh, which now is integrated on the Bronco Raptor. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, are complaining about the flares, but again, the Department of Transportation is very strict. So, you know, underneath, got the side puddle lamps, 360 cameras. What else? Yeah. So there you have it. All right. Where's the keys? Can I drive it now? Yeah.